Hi everyone! Today we will continue to talk about Photoshop filters as an essential technique for the textile design. So let's start our lesson number 24. If you have a second, please subscribe to my channel. Last time we learned how to use this spray stroke filter. Let's open our raw spring from the lesson number 4, color reduction. Check the amount of colors. Image, mode, indexed color, A. Cancel. Select one of the flowers. Go to filter, filter gallery, brush stroke. Let's take a look on the next brush stroke filter, spotter. Play with spray radius and smoothness. As we see, we can achieve a totally different look of the flower. As we click OK, we can see the blurness of the edges made of additional pixels. Why do we need this effect as we always try to avoid any half tones? Look, if we go to index color again, we still have our A colors. That's why this spatter filter is one of my favorites. It preserves amount of colors the same way as our sprayed stroke filter. Let's try one exercise. Open our abstract file from the lesson number 12, Print Cleaning. It's a classic flat color print. has nine colors. But imagine we'd like to present it as a watercolor design. Go to Filter, Filter Gallery, Brush Strokes, Spot. With the correct spray radius and the smoothness balance, we can achieve the best softer look. Even though it gets new stippling, it doesn't gain additional colors. Image mode index color 9. If you think your watercolor effect is not enough pronounced, repeat the effect. As we know already, we can go to filter, the first line, the most recent filter, or just click Ctrl F. Now, we can achieve a totally different effect with this filter. Go back. Imagine, we don't want the watercolor look. You just want the spring to be kind of broken, less accurate. In other words, more modern. Go to filter, filter gallery, brush strokes, spotter. Start to increase both parameters slowly. As we see, when smoothness exceeds the radius, the stippling are disappearing, but the lines are breaking down. So when we click OK, we can see our design in a kind of freehand sketchy look. With this method, you can bring a new flavor to any old traditional print. Compare. By the way, you can use this sprayed stroke filter also to kind of modernize any traditional print. In this case, I recommend using a left diagonal or right diagonal stroke direction. Look at this simple tiger print. Go to filter, filter gallery, brush stroke, sprayed stroke. Choose right direction. Play with parameter. Just a few seconds and voila! the new modern airy print in front of you. And, as we check, no additional colors. Sometimes my students ask me, is it possible to apply filters on some particular area, not to the entire pile? Of course. And we can use this idea for this certain practical goal. Open our watercolor print from the lesson number 14, how to do a repeat for watercolor print in Photoshop. As we remember, we've reduced color successfully. Image mode into the color 12. However, print still has an obvious watercolor look. But zoom in. Do we see anything what we can do to look any better? I think this edge between these two colors look too strong. I'd like to make it more watery. Choose Lasso, Feather 0, Anti-Lice All. Select the desired area. Filter, Filter Gallery, Brush Strokes, Spot. Adjust. See, we've softened this area. Now it looks more watercolory. 
but we didn't get any head tones. Do you want to check? Image mode index the color 12. Moreover, let's try to soften all edges between these two colors. Go back with magic one, tolerance zero, anti lies all, contiguous unchecked. Select these two colors. Filter, filter gallery, brush strokes, spotter. See, we've softened all area between two green colors. Be careful, don't soften it too much. You may destroy any other attached area. So, selecting any different areas, you may achieve more and more blurry effect, enhancing the watercolor look, but avoiding half tones and preserve original 12 colors. Now, I'd like to introduce you the next filter for softening effect. Select any area, go to Filter, Filter Gallery, Distort, Glass. But I don't recommend using it on the print which has a watercolor effect already. As you see, it's becoming too messy. I doubt any factory could execute it properly. So, let's open our abstract file with flat colors. Check amount of colors. Image mode, index colors, 9. Cancel. Filter, filter gallery, distort, glass. Texture, choose canvas. If we move slider to maximum, we will have an actual texture effect. This is kind of cool, looks like real canvas underneath. But I think it's almost impossible for execution. Let's play with slider. If we move the distortion, we keep the canvas look, but make it less obvious and easier for execution. If we play with smoothness, we are losing the texture, but we are getting kind of painting effect. Doesn't look like abstract acrylic artwork. What I like about this filter, if we apply it, we are not getting any half tones. Check amount of colors. Image mode. Index color 9. One little secret. Sometimes I use this filter for kind of cheating. Remember how we are cleaning this print to achieve this smooth look? My lesson number 12, print clean. As we remember, we are starting with broken line. Ideally, we definitely need to clean it. But what if we are extremely out of time? Duplicate this imperfect layer, apply glass filter. Play with slider. Well, not great, but at least not so ugly. You can convince your client you are mimicking the acrylic paint. Apply one more time for more dramatic effect. Why not? Open our clean version again and try to apply different textures. Filter, filter gallery, distort glass. What about blocks? Please don't increase texture too much. Your artwork will look like a glass block wall. Choose a minimum scaling. Play with smoothness and distortion. You can always make inverse. Then choose frosting. It's the most delicate effect. You can play with different parameters easily. This is a, basically my favorite. It's less dangerous for the entire design. In the same time, you can achieve kind of watercolor effect, the same as spatter filter. And then tiny lenses. Be careful with this filter. It may turn your print to something not printable. But in many cases, you are totally safe in terms of amount of colors. You still have nine. One more filter you can use for impressive artistic effect. Open our favorite floral print. Check the amount of colors. Image mode, index color 12. Go to filter, filter gallery, distort, ocean ripple. Play with the ripple size and ripple magnitude. Isn't it cool? It reminds me of something like Monet artwork. Again. You can check amount of colors, 12 as before. 
And the last one from the distort filter group is more complicated filter. Honestly, I don't use it a lot, but it could be helpful for some specific art. Go back to the original. Go to filter, filter gallery, distort, diffuse glow. Play with grayness, glow amount and clear amount. The effect may be amazing. You are getting very airy, delicate, gentle print. It can be used for some very special garment, newborn babies or some exclusive intimate apparel. Why I don't use it often? This effect has two major problems. Problem number one, it doesn't preserve colors. Image mode indexed color doesn't have exact colors amount. So you will have to work on it. Let's put our previous amount, 12 and make diffusion 50%. Okay. Actually, it's not so bad. But unfortunately, we have a problem number two. This delicate and very grainy print requires the certain fabric quality. Trust me, if your fabric is a regular cotton polyester or wool blend, you most likely will get a bunch of dirty blobs instead of the elegant flowers. So I suggest this effect if you work for one of the expensive designer's brand and your factory use the luxury fabric like the natural silk, high quality organza, delicate thin lace or something like this. So now you learn more about brush stroke and distort brush up filters and know how to use them for the most interesting and intricate textile design. Next time we will continue to talk about Photoshop filters. Please subscribe to my channel, like it if you still didn't, and please don't forget to check your bell. See you soon.